from scheduling issues to no news of renewal and even the departure of a pivotal character, Chicago Fire Season 12 certainly seems a little under fire, and here's everything you need to know about it, starting with the question that's on everyone's minds. Will the show get renewed for Season 12? The firefighting drama has been airing on NBC for more than a decade now, and is currently enjoying strong ratings, but as Season 11 draws to a close, no confirmation of a renewal has been made for Season 12. So is this the final season, or will the show return? Well, it's complicated. Even though Chicago Fire has not been renewed by NBC for additional seasons, the network and Dick Wolf Productions are currently talking about a renewal for more than one season. This means the show will be safe on the air for the foreseeable future. At least I hope so. Fans and insiders alike have wondered why it has taken so long for NBC and Dick Wolf Productions to reach an agreement. Honestly speaking, two possibilities come to mind as to why this might be the case. One is that Chicago Fire has already aired over 200 episodes, and it becomes increasingly difficult to keep up with episode budgets as a show gets older. Secondly, Netflix is notorious for canceling its shows after only a few seasons. Why, you may ask? Well, for the simple reason that keeping them on the air for longer costs more money. But the problems with the renewal don't stop there, and NBC might be considering the renewal. The network doesn't want to break the bank on this show, especially since it already has two other One Chicago shows. So they'll have to come to some sort of agreement about the show's future. And then there's the problem of scheduling conflicts. After all, time slots are limited, and NBC has been thinking about giving up its 10 p.m. time slot. If they actually go ahead with this, the three One Chicago shows that air in a row on Wednesday nights would be messed up. As a result of this time slot change, it's possible that one of the shows would be canceled or at least moved to a different night. It's probably going to be mad. Coming back, there's good news on both sides though. Since Dick Wolf is known for making shows quickly and cheaply, there shouldn't be much disagreement about the budget. Still, the time slot is a big problem, but this discussion has come up before and the lineup has stayed the same. And this may just be another instance of being cautious about future plans. Still, all signs point to Chicago Fire and similar shows being renewed sooner rather than later. So get ready, Fire fans, but wait. What will the theme of Season 12 be? Since the show hasn't been renewed, not much is known about the contents and the plot, so we can only speculate on what will happen in the next season of Chicago Fire. But there will definitely be more drama and danger in the firehouse this time around. The team's workload will increase, and they may have to perform some daring rescues. While the members of Squad 51 work together and push each other to improve as firemen, we may also anticipate seeing more relationship complexities between them. With so many distinct individuals, there's certain to be some compelling drama revolving around their own lives. This season will be full of shocks and excitement, but looking at previous seasons, we can get an idea of what the next one will be like. A grand jury was asking Kelly Severide questions about his knowledge of Campbell when we last saw him. When the firefighter is on his way to give his testimony, he sees one of Campbell's men holding a knife. Severide kicks him during their fight, sending him crashing through a window to his death. So you can expect the story to continue from here. Moreover, the war against Emma continues, and Squad 51 is after her. Something to note is the fact that Hawkins finally musters the courage to visit his superiors and offer to take the fall for everyone. So the buildup is there for a good story. All that's left are confirmations. Although the team certainly has a lot they can ride on, Severide's arc might be in jeopardy. The news that Taylor Kinney would be leaving the show caught viewers by surprise. Fans of the show will notice a change in the script as Kinney, who plays Severide, leaves to attend personal matters. This is another cause of panic for the fans as they wait for NBC to confirm the renewal of Chicago Fire. You said my ass back there. Yeah, you would have done the same. Yeah, well still. Oh, you won. You're telling me 
then a whole night can get deleted. Poof, just like that. According to Deadline, fans have even voiced fear that Kenny may not be returning to the program because he was taking time off to deal with a personal matter. And since many are still curious about what would happen to Kenny after he left in January, the concerns were understandable. But the actor's leave was communicated to the rest of the cast and crew, and the screenplay was adjusted accordingly. There is no word yet on whether Kenny will return to the Chicago Fire, and if so, when? Zevride's importance to the show plot has made Kenny's departure a major challenge for the writers, but at the same time, it will be interesting to watch how the authors handle the plot without Kenny on the show. They'll also have to come up with a fresh story for Severide to continue to generate buzz around the character, since he is one of the most interesting characters, and fans are not too thrilled about his departure. Ever since Kenny's departure from Chicago Fire was revealed, many have wondered how the character will be written off, and several people believe that Severide went to Oregon to see his pal Matthew Casey. A Kelly fan tweeted saying that Kelly is most certainly going to take a trip to meet Casey soon. Another person on Twitter speculated the same, saying that Kelly is coming to visit Casey to explain Taylor's leave of absence, but that assumption was incorrect, sadly. Instead, Damage Control revealed that Severide had been sent to an OFI training camp and therefore was officially written off Chicago Fire for a while. He could have declined the unexpected opening, but it was too good to pass up. Because Kenny quit before filming began, his character is not featured in the episode. Instead, Van Meter of OFI brought the news to Bowden. Even though Bowden was sad, he realized that the training would help the firehouse when Severide came back. Leaving Severide at OFI would be a great plan B in case Kenny changes his mind and decides to leave Chicago Fire for good. On the topic of characters and cats, Asked, who can we expect to actually return for season 12? Even though there's no official confirmation regarding the cast members or anything for a matter of fact, we can still speculate about who might be returning to season 12. You can definitely expect to see key roles return in the next season, like Eamon Walker coming back as Wallace Bowden and taking the role of Deputy District Chief, and Kara Kilmer who will be playing Sylvie Brett in season 12. We might get to see David Eigenberg continue continue to give an amazing performance as Lieutenant Christopher Herman, and Ray Mayo will play Miranda Stella Kidd. You just can't forget the brilliant portrayal of Joe Cruz by Joe Manazzo when making a new season. Then we might also get to see Randy Mouch McAllen, who will be played by Christian Stolte. Daniel Keery will take on the role of Darren Ritter, and Alberto Rosende will embody Blake Gallo. And let's not forget Violet Mikami, because she can also be a pivotal part of season 12. With Hanako Greensmith playing the character, you can expect these amazing actors on your screens as early as September 2023. Considering the releases are always all over the place, early 2024 seems more likely. But either way, it's definitely coming back. And that was everything you need to know about Chicago Fire Season 12.